Introduction pCloudy is a mobile app testing platform. Using pCloudy, you can select from hundreds of real devices, install apps, and perform manual and automation test execution. How to log in to the platform To use the platform, just open a standard browser like Chrome. Just enter the URL as device.pcloudy.com, enter your credentials and log in. Viewing available devices. Once you log in, you will be able to see a range of devices smartphones and tabs, iOS and Android. To select a device, you can use the different filters OS, manufacturers, screen size, and network. Connecting a device through instant access mode. There are basically two ways to connect to a device the instant access mode and the book your device mode. Through the instant access mode, just hit connect confirm and you're ready to use the device. How to book a device Through the book your device mode select the manufacturer, the model, the OS, the date, the start time and the duration. Hit find device click book and confirm and when the time comes you can go ahead and use the device. Accessing a book device To connect to a book device, just go to the devices panel Scroll down to the current bookings Click on the connect button And you're ready to go Uploading an app to the cloud In the My App and Data panel, you can upload your test data like the IPA files, the APK files, or your automation test suite files. Just hit the Upload button, choose the file that you would like to upload, and click the Upload button. Basic Actions Using the Device Now let me quickly connect to a device and show you the different features available once you connect to the device. So this is a real device that is available in our data centers. Now you can control the device just like the way you control a real device. You can use the swipe options, you can use the apps menu, you can also use the hard keys available on the device. In the web layout, the frequently used buttons are on the top. The logs and the performance can be viewed from the right hand side. The device information, the app or data, the device settings, debugging tools, automation tools can be used from the left hand side. Now let's see how we can manually test an application using the platform. Now let me quickly install an application and show you how you can use or test an application on the device. Once the application is installed, it will be launched on the device. Once the application is installed, let's see how we can view the device logs. Now to view the device logs, all you need to do is just go to logs, hit the play button and you can view the device logs. You can also control the logs by using the stop, pause buttons, look for a keyword, erase the logs, download the logs or view, use the filter for the logs. Now let's see how we can view app performance. Now to view the performance of the application, 
just go to performance choose the application that you would like to view select the application and on the right hand side you can see the data usage the memory usage the CPU usage the battery consumption and the frame render count the set phone location feature is useful to mark the current location of a device using this feature you can test location aware applications by simply picking a location from the map let us first check the current location to check that I'm opening Google Maps the current location is Electronic City, Bengaluru now to change the device location click set phone location under the device settings a map appears I'm selecting a location from the map I'm selecting Perth, Australia the Google Maps on the device updates the current location to Perth now to change the location click on set phone location again I'm selecting San Francisco USA the Google Maps on the device updates the current location to San Francisco now that's how you can mark the device location while testing a native or hybrid application the platform provides you several debugging tools to identify crashes or bugs let me first install a test application to simulate a crash now this is an application that crashes on the device that I'm installing it on so once the application is installed it gets launched so this is an application that cr crashes on the device while taking notes I'm clicking add note on the menu and the app crashes now whenever there is a crash on the device the button on the top called stack trace starts blinking when you click on it it provides the complete stack trace information the very second line shows the reason behind the crash the exception just copy the entire information and can be sent to the developer to inspect the bug so you can also take a screenshot using the screenshot button and it will be downloaded on your local computer the screenshot will also be available in the cloud drive apart from this you can also capture the video of the bug we just observed use the capture error data just click on capture error data and set the time interval in which the bug was observed hit download and its zip file will be downloaded on your computer once it is extracted you can see that it contains the crash the log cat information the screenshots and the video file the video file can be viewed in any player and it contains the complete video of the bug that we just observed for this information the tester or developer can save time and debug the application more effectively now let's see how we can test a web application generally while testing a web application on a physical device you will open a web browser enter the URL or open the URL from a shortcut
but while using the devices through the platform to open a web application just click launch URL in the browser and enter the URL and push to the device the feature also helps you to test the web application on multiple browsers for compatibility testing. The web application can be opened just like the way you open it on a physical device. Once you open it, you can also scroll through the browser and you can also use the landscape view or the portrait view on the device. The platform is integrated with Chrome development tools. Under the debug menu, just click on the debug using Chrome development tools, which opens a dialog box, enter the URL and push it to the device. Once the URL loads on the device, the Chrome debugger will start up. load the unsafe scripts and you can view the complete code of the web application. The Chrome developer tools are used for web authoring, debugging, monitoring, optimizing and understanding web applications or websites. The dev tools will help you to inspect web elements, view the HTML, JavaScripts, CSS being used in the web app. Thank you for watching this video. Please write to us at info at pcloudy.com.